This is David Green in Nagoya, Japan, and this is my web app, Metronome. This app uses HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and the JavaScript Web Audio API to generate sounds within the browser and adjust those sounds on the fly. It doesn't use any audio files at all. Um, the Web API, Web Audio API, also allows you to um, use precise timing uh, within the browser, which is not usually possible. Uh, but that's very important, obviously, for a metronome. So let me press the start button here. You can see the current uh, tempo at the top and the word that describes that tempo. If I increase the tempo or decrease the tempo, you can see this all changes and the uh, you get a visual flash as well to show you um, the current beat. You can increase the number of steps or decrease the number of steps to five or three, like this. Um, also, you can use the tap tempo button to input your own tempo. So if I Do this. It averages the tempo over up to four taps and uh, adjusts the tempo accordingly. You can also reduce the, the brightness of the flash if you're practicing at night time. You can add subdivisions. Let me just maybe decrease the tempo a little bit. So semis triplets, quarters, fifths, and even a swing mode, practicing jazz and things. You can reduce the volume of the subdivision or increase it. Um, you can also change the type of wave used by the oscillator. Sawtooth sine wave. Let me turn the subdivisions off. Got the master volume, if you're using this in the browser. And the final option I added was, uh, if you're using Bluetooth headphones, the sound and the flash will not sync because of the lag on Bluetooth headphones. So you can delay the flash so that it stays in sync when you're using um, Bluetooth headphones. And that's my project for CS50 2022. Thank you very much.